Hey guys, Sam Mac here. Um, so I've got uh, Lord of the Rings LCG loaded up. Uh, they just announced they're going to be doing away with the Palantir reviews. Uh, so basically next week, which is the 23rd of uh, October, uh, they're taking it out. So um, there's no reason not to use all our Palantir reviews right now. Uh, so we're just going to jump in and use them. I think all I'm going to get is Valor. And if so, I'll probably won't even post this. But um, I don't know. I thought I'd record just in case something interesting happens. I kind of doubt it though. All oh, right, never mind. There's there's a few new cards that I haven't purchased yet that I will end up getting here. But um, yeah, aside from that, I don't expect too much. So so I think there's four new cards that I hadn't gotten. East Road Rider. So while I'm doing this, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. They're uh, basically moving away from free-to-play. Uh, they announced in the stream today, ooh, I got an avatar, uh, Faramir. Um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit while I talk. Uh, yeah, so they're moving away from free-to-play, and it's going to be kind of uh, continue to buy content as they release it. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. They've said you're going to be able to spend Valor on cards. They haven't... They didn't really clarify whether or not you're going to be able to spend Valor on um, on quests in the future, to unlock quests. But it sounded kind of like you weren't. It sounded like it was going to be cards only. So uh, that'll be kind of interesting moving forward. With the Palantir reviews, the way they worked, it did seem way too easy to get all the cards, so uh, maybe we won't burn through Valor as quickly as we think we will, since Legendaries will actually have to be purchased for, like, what are they, 37.50 or whatever they are? Because, um, as it currently was, was, we were basically only, well, I don't know, I was at least only buying commons and then unlocking the rest of the cards with, uh, with Palantir View. So uh, that seemed to be the best bang for your buck. So uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see uh, where this goes. But yeah, I think we're through all the cosmetics and stuff by now. It looks like we're getting mostly, uh, mostly Valor. Lowest you can get per, you get two Valor pulls per. Lowest you can get is 100. I so you can get us 500. We're getting quite a few uh, combos there too, so about 600 per pull. Um, so yeah, 500 that time. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna end up with a decent amount of valor. I'm just curious to see uh, another avatar we can have dwelling. Curious to see what we're gonna be able to spend it on. Um, I hope they still keep it a little bit free to play because that kind of gives you goals to strive for. Uh, if you're not able to unlock stuff, I think it kills some of the replayability. Uh, still, still some more avatars in there to unlock. I wonder if those were ones that were added recently or I just didn't have them. Anyway. Three to go. Another avatar. So I guess they're still in there. It'll be interesting. I wonder how we'll unlock cosmetics if you even cannot unlock cosmetics once the Palantir view is gone. All right, here's the last one. And just some Valor. All right. So yeah, I wonder if I have all the cosmetics up or not. Uh, so that was 24 of them. I'm not sure. I probably have a few left to unlock, but I'm really not sure which. I kind of stopped keeping track. And I definitely don't think I unlocked all 40 of them. Um, and to be honest, I probably won't bother trying to get the rest that I didn't get. Just because... Um, I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm pretty busy the next week, so I really only have a week to do it, and 
uh, it's not a good week for me to, to be unlocking stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Cool to hear them reacting to feedback. I uh, just hope that they uh, kind of keep it accessible to, to a lot of players. I think if there's a big paywall, or even if it just seems like there's going to be a lot of small paywalls, then it might hurt the audience a little bit. Um, especially if they ever take it to mobile. I don't know if they will take it to mobile in the end, but... Uh, yeah i guess we'll see anyway i guess it's still coming to switch so that kind of going to pay to play kind of fits more with the switch model so maybe that's what they're thinking anyway uh still enjoying the game i play occasionally and i'm looking forward to when the new content comes out and uh yeah still have faith in them to uh that they're going to make a good compelling product and a fun game to play so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, there goes all the Palantir views. Cheers, guys.